You know, today is one of those days when I feel like I'm older. I usually have a lot of energy. I usually have a spring in my step. I'm usually really motivated and excited to do things. But a new thing. Oh, don't we love new things? Don't we love when something new goes wrong with our body? Well, this, check this out, all right? I don't know if you can see this or not, but my two middle fingers are now what's called trigger fingers. And that is, it hurts to bend them, and when I finally do bend them, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not, but when I finally do bend them, okay, they, my middle fingers are locked in the current position that they are in. I can't open them up. Now with some effort and a little bit of pain, I can pop them open and it makes a popping sound. I don't think you can hear that on the camera, but it makes a popping sound. So when I go to hold dumbbells now, my grip isn't what it used to be. So one of the ways I'm gonna get around this problem with my hands and you know, my trigger fingers, it aches a lot. It aches a lot to close my hands. So to grasp a dumbbell, it's not as easy as it used to be. So this is what I do. I'm gonna wear these gloves. Now, if you're just starting to work out, never worked out before, these can give you a little bit more of a confidence about the weight that you can lift because your hands are padded. Now you're gonna have some people tell you in gyms, oh, you don't need gloves for that. Shouldn't wear gloves because you need your hands to get strong. You need your wrists to get strong. Yeah, that's true if you're in your 20s or in your 30s. But if you are 50s or 60s or 70s, you're gonna use padding because that's gonna help. Because as we age, our skin gets thinner and we have to have this kind of padding sometimes just to be able to lift right. And because of my trigger finger and the pressure that happens on my palm, this, these gloves are gonna really help me. See that popping? It's really, really, really annoying. Ah, oh, oh, it hurts. It certainly pisses me off to no end. The more and more I do it, the more my hands will adapt. Because when we do these things to our body, when we lift weights like we're doing, our bodies have to adapt. That's why your muscles get bigger. You're putting resistance, you're forcing your body to do something beyond what it normally does. And that's why your muscles grow. As a personal trainer, it freaks me out to think that there might come a time when I can't work out or when people don't want to train with me. I, I can't fathom that. Yet, I started in my 40s thinking about it, you know, I've been doing it since my 20s. Yeah, my 40s, maybe people don't wanna work out with me as much anymore. No, they still did. And then in my 50s, oh geez, I'm in my 50s. What am I gonna do now? Nobody's gonna wanna work out with me. And yet people still did. So I'm thinking in my 60s and in my 70s, in my 70s, if it takes that. Oof. I'm hoping people are still gonna wanna work out with me. And even if they don't, even if people don't wanna work out with me as a trainer anymore, I'm still going to be there in the gym, pushing myself as long as I can. There's always things that you can do. Do something. Even if it's just getting outside and moving around and getting air flowing in and getting deeper breaths, that's all gonna help you. Jack LaLanne lifted weights, did some resistance training all the way into his 90s. 
Now, I may not get that far, but I'm sure as hell going to get all the way through my 70s. Why not? For any of you that are in your 70s right now, or you just moved into 80, there's no reason why, even if you've not worked out before, or even if you haven't gotten yourself out to experience new things, new horizons, that you can't still do it. By June, I want to be able to do videos shirtless and continue to make my body better and better, even though I'm going to be in my 60s in a matter of weeks. <laughs> so my goal is to reduce body fat. My goal is to build up muscle. My goal is to get out and do things and find adventures and push myself beyond what my comfort zone is. And if you're still doing that, you're able to get yourself out and do that, hey, that's living.